All right, everybody, hello, and welcome to just, this is going to be fantastic, a really fantastic tutorial. Um, actually, no, it's, it's, it's probably going to be really boring. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, multicams and making multi-groups uh, to use in your sequence and why you would use that. Uh, so first of all, it would be, um, let's say you have a 12 camera shoot or a five camera shoot or a four camera shoot, whatever it is. And you're, and you're um, filming one event and you want to be able to switch back and forth between each camera um, at that exact moment without creating, you know, 12 different um, tracks in your sequence. This is, uh, this is kind of how you do it. Or if you have all day and you're on a reality set, I don't know if I said reality. Guys, I'm feeling a little off today. I don't know. I think I've had a little too much uh, coffee or something. So if I'm not making much sense here, um, yeah, sorry. Let's just get started. So you have your uh, multi-group bin, all right, let's just say. And what you'll want to do is bring clips into there. Um, you can make sub-clips, right, in your, in your multi-group. So I'm just going to do this in, out make a sub clip let's do another one here make another sub clip and I'm just pretending for a second that all these are kind of lined up and the right time um, they definitely are not I think you'll see that but for the sake of this tutorial we're pretending that each and every one of these clips is kind of stacked on each other well, okay, it doesn't have to be these exactly, but what you'll start by doing is creating a random multi-group. Um, not, you're not never going to be able to highlight all your clips, and then magically it's going to be in this multi-group. Even with um, things time code and synced, you're going to have like GoPro footage, you're going to have 5D Mark II. It's just if you have 12 cameras, it just it's not going to be magic. So what you'll do is you know highlight two, create a multi-group, just like that doesn't really matter how you do it and here is your first my first multi-group very exciting all right so to get into this multi-group you'll first right click and say edit group okay now here is your sequence now depending on how many cameras you have um, you are going to edit this group based off that okay so what you'll do is just um, you know create a bunch of tracks I'm gonna say 12 for the sake of this and then you know if each camera has different audio you will do that as well okay now those clips that you just created a multi-group with you can just kind of forget about them they don't really matter because what you're going to need to do is let's say it's a 30 minute shoot that you're doing you're going to need to create a separate sequence um, with all of your clips stacked properly so your a cam on you know, whatever the first track and so forth. So if you have a, you know, GoPros on the 12th track, you can do all of that. All right. Um, so I can kind of go back in here. I'm just going to bring some, you know, clips in. This is really, um, these are the parts of tutor tutorials that are kind of boring. I realize that. But um, I'm just going to show you for sake of this. So yeah, so essentially what you're going to want to be doing is just, you know, having this set and ready to go and then copying and pasting a sequence into here that you want um, to be in it. Okay, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to bring a few down here just so you can kind of see the different starts and stops and, and kind of how this works. Okay, so just imagine for a little bit that all these are different cameras, and but all in the same event. Okay, so so we're, you're working inside your multi-group right now, and so you can just clear the monitor, and it'll say update or create a new group. If you're happy with it, I usually just create a new one. It seems to update a little bit better. So I say create a new group, put it in my multi-groups. Okay. So now that you have your multi-group, you can literally delete everything that's in there and just create a new sequence or put it into my 
sequence. This is not your first sequence. So uh, let's pretend you have this whole edit already and you can just bring your multi-group in there. Okay, so here it is. It's looking pretty good, right? Uh, it's a single track in here and you're like, well, how do I see all those clips that are in there? Well, it's easy. You simply go to your whatever, however you want to split it. So you say quad split and you have your four. And if you like this view better, you can cycle between those banks by just kind of swapping, going back and forth between the banks, the camera banks. And you can see as you go forward, so there's on and off, the clips will go. So you see here, and then if you want to switch it, you can just select it, you know, select that shot and so forth. And it's changing it in your sequence. Now you can also do a nine split, which is nice. And then switch between banks here as well. You know, so it's it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. That's essentially it, guys. Um, there's your there's your multi-group. It's pretty exciting. So if you had to make new changes again, you know, you could edit that multi-group. Um, there's seven tracks right now. So swapping banks, let's say you had more than nine, uh, you know. You just uh, create some more tracks. So there's 12 here, right? And I'm going to like bring this up to 11. Okay. So just like that, uh, clear monitor, create a new one, multi group two. Okay. And then, um, you will see now when you click on the nine, it's kind of split up a little bit. And then you, when you swap banks, because there's more tracks, it'll go to uh, those tracks where it should. I don't know if, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Pretty fun, huh? Okay, I hope this was helpful. I know it was a little bit long. Um, I try to keep these really short, but that's it in a nutshell. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want some good coffee, I have some good recommendations. I got a lot to do today, so I don't even know why I made this. But I did. So goodbye.